There are four true stages of the cell cycle, G1, S, G2, and M. A fifth stage, G0, is where the cell remains indefinitely until it begins the cell cycle again. Some cells may never leave the G0 stage. Others that go through division rapidly, such as bone marrow cells, may skip the G0 stage entirely. Cells begin the cell cycle by entering interphase. In interphase, the cell prepares for division by duplicating DNA. Interphase includes the stages G1, S, and G2. In G1, the cell synthesizes DNA and protein and increases organelle and cytoskeletal elements. The chromatin consists of long, slender rods jumbled together in the nucleus. S is the synthesis stage. Nuclear DNA replicates along its centrioles, which are small structures made up mostly of microtubules that associate with the chromosome's DNA. The chromatins begin to coil so that they shorten and thicken. In G2, RNA and protein are synthesized. Proofreading also occurs. The DNA replicated in the S phase is checked for mistakes. If mistakes are found, the cell repairs them or receives a signal to self-destruct, called apoptosis. The difference between G2 and G1 is that in G1, DNA and protein are made, while in G2, RNA and protein are made. In the M stage, the cell divides into two identical cells through divisions of the nucleus, mitosis, and cytoplasm, cytokinesis. Over five different stages, the centrioles pull the chromosomes apart and the cell divides in two. First, in prophase, the duplicated chromosomes appear and then split into identical halves called chromatids, attached by spindles called centromeres. The nuclear membrane disappears and spindle fibers form in the cytoplasm, radiating from the two centrioles located at opposite poles of the cell. In metaphase, the spindle fibers pull the centromeres, aligning them in the middle of the spindle or the equatorial plate of the cell. The two chromatids are clearly visible in this stage. In anaphase, the centromeres split, pulling sister chromatids to opposite sides of the cell. By the end of anaphase, 46 chromosomes lie at each side of the cell. When chromosomes are separated, each sister chromatid is considered a new chromosome. In telophase, a nuclear membrane forms around a group of 46 chromosomes. The spindle fibers disappear and the chromosomes uncoil. Cytokinesis occurs and the cytoplasm divides into equal parts. Two identical daughter cells have been formed. Each new cell moves back to the G0 stage and is ready to begin the process again.